Welcome to Park Bench Interviews, hosted by Randy Goodman, Harvey Callis Real Estate, your real estate professional. Get to know our community, our businesses, products, and services that will elevate your life. Please welcome your hostess, Randy Goodman. Hey, it's Randy Goodman here with Harvey Callis Real Estate, and I am excited to be here with Mara Alipur, who is a master branding coach, and I can't wait to hear all about it. Mara, thanks for being with me here. Thank you, Randy. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. I'm well, excited too. My pleasure, and I can't wait to hear. So tell us a little bit about your business and what you do, because I know you're really passionate about it. Yes, I am, true. Um, I am a co-founder of SmartShot Media Agency, and what we do, we help business owners with their branding from A to Z. So it means like brand training, helping them come up with a clear message that attracts their ideal clientele, and then help them with visuals for branding, uh, whether it is graphic design, professional photography, or video production. Okay, wow. So tell us the importance of a business or even an individual uh, having these things in place. What kind of effects or results do they get with it and why is it important? Yeah, it's a great question, Randy. Uh, thank you for asking this. I personally believe that branding is the core of any business, not because I'm into branding, but uh, because it will uh, uh, it will allow you to attract the people that connect you with uh, connect you connect with you the best, and then um, allows you to serve them properly. Um, but unfortunately, this is something that most business owners do not know, and that's why uh, sixty percent of businesses uh, in any industry struggle all the time. But those who invest in branding, they are able to. Uh, level up and, and go to higher levels, 4% uh, of uh, businesses do very good and only 1% are the leader. But um, I personally believe um, branding is the core of any business, whether you're a solo partner or you have a, a bigger business, you have a couple of people or you're a huge company. Uh, at each level, branding is the core. Yeah, and I agree with you. It's uh, it shows professionalism, and uh, it also depicts the way you want to be perceived in the world, right? But Ooh. I have a question about um, you know I think a lot of people think oh they think branding is like this huge dollar sign, right? They think oh my god if I have to and some people are kind of old school like me, you know, where you go back to the paper and, you know, newspaper and magazines and brochures and all that kind of stuff. Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, and there may be a lot of solopreneurs out there or smaller entrepreneurs uh, who really should be branded in order to level up. And, you know, I want to kind of ease their mind or not ease their mind as to what does that look like Financially, you don't have to give specific numbers, but just like affordability, how like can they feel comfortable that branding or rebranding themselves can be an affordable thing to do, or is it like way out there and totally not affordable? Yeah, um, that, that's a really good question, Randy. So branding has different aspects. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, what we do is exactly the stages of branding. A lot of people think branding is having a fancy logo or having a fancy, <clears throat> sorry, or having fancy graphic design in your marketing materials. But branding is much more than that. And it starts with the message that you have, the audience that you want to work with. And based on the level that your business is at, the investment uh, could be different. Um, let, let me start by an example. So, uh, any business at the start, um, they, they know any entrepreneur, every entrepreneur or every business owner, they know what they want to do, right? But um, a smaller group know how they want to do it. And by that, I mean how to differentiate themselves from the rest of the market. 
or how to um, how to customize their authoring to a specific needs of a niche, right? And very, very few entrepreneurs or business owners know why they do what they do. And this is so important because uh, if you have a clear why, then you would be able to touch the heart of your audience with that why, right? So at this stage, when you want to clarify your why or have um, a value statement for your brand or vision or mission, this part um, requires training. This is not something that we are born with, right? right. So for the training, the dollar investment can, can be from a couple of um, hundred dollars mm. to let's say, $10,000 or more, it depends on who you are hiring or how you are educating yourself on that. Do you want to hire a, a branding coach to sit with you one-on-one -on -one and help you on that? Or you want to, for example, buy an online course and learn about it, right? right. So there are different approaches. Then when you have a clear message, it is time to create the visuals, right? Right. So for the visuals, um, you need logos, uh, stationery. I always tell um, business owners, especially small business owners, that uh, you need to have a face for your company. Mm -hmm. So if you are the owner, more, most probably you are the face of your business, right? Uh, but if you don't want to be a, fa a face of uh, your business, um, you need to, to have someone to be the face of your business because people trust people, not, right. not products, not services, at least at the level that we are at. Um, for example, if you are Nike or if you are Coca-Cola and you have billions of dollars uh, for your marketing and branding, then the logo or the uh, name itself can be bigger than the person's face. Right. But uh, for solopreneurs, uh, business owners, the small businesses, I believe uh, the most effective way of branding is that you be the face of your mm -hmm. uh, company and right. tell everybody why you are doing this. Mm -hmm. And then people start trusting you. And for that, of course, you need to have a professional picture, you need to have logos, uh, graphic design, and this can, uh, again, can be very different uh, starting from a couple of thousand dollars to twenty thousand dollars for a small business. Right. Okay, that's awesome. Well, that gives I think it gives people a great picture, and it can be affordable to jump in, and then when they can afford more, keep up leveling. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> that uh, thank you. That they can uh, invest more and you know really jump it up so i love that thank you there's no probably another sneeze coming so um so mara did you always like were you always in this business or was nick what did you do before and what led you here tell us a little bit about your journey oh okay cool <laughs> i like this part too <laughs> Well, my background, I'm a chemical engineer, and I have been in uh, chemical industry for about 17 years. Okay. Uh, however, in the middle, I switched from being a quality control manager to being the marketing manager. Oh. And um, the story is that I have been working, uh, th that was a family business, of course, because I have been in my own business my whole, in my whole career, like, so I have been quality control manager working in chemical plants and uh, doing everything, but I had a passion for meeting people, um, like going into different aspects of uh, the business. So I did my uh, MBA okay. and then in the same um, company, I switched my career into being the marketing manager because they needed uh, someone who uh, has the technical background and right. also know about marketing. So I, I worked as the marketing manager for uh, about um, eight years, eight, nine years. And then um, my husband had, uh, my, my husband had his um, media agency. 
and he's a professional photographer and videographer. Okay. So we decided to uh, hold the hands and uh, found the smart shop together. I love it. So, yeah, thank you. So I am in charge of the sales and marketing in smart shop and he's the art director. Um, and um, that's how we help our clients. Um, and I believe this is this is a very good approach because most of the uh, branding agencies do not have the design part or the content, visual content creation part or branding coaches, um, uh, vice versa, you know, branding coaches cannot do that and designers cannot coach with branding and the concept and uh, coming up with the right message. So by, by uh, combining these two different skills, we are able to help uh, small business owners from A to Z of branding. I love that, like a one-stop shop. <clears throat> hey, I love that. And I love hearing like how you transition, but then all the professionalism behind that, like people don't get to see that. They think, you know, branding coach or this or that, and that's all they see. They don't yeah. know the story behind it and they don't understand that there could be a lot of differences between one or the other and what those differences could be, right? Yeah, true. And you come with a lot of creative and artistic and technical background to be able to put this whole package together for somebody. So I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. you mentioned something really interesting. Yes, it is both art and science. It's a combination of both. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I really uh, believe that our world is uh, the representation, <clears throat> sorry, our world is the representation of what we think and our mindset. Mm -hmm. So that, I was always interested in psychology and also, so that's why I did my um, NLP coaching um, certificate and I'm, a, I'm an NLP coach. A practitioner oh, good. to be able to help my clients in that uh, sense too because uh, I personally experienced and, and uh, saw that a lot of business owners have limiting beliefs, mm -hmm. uh, negative emotions and that is what keeps their business at uh, like lower levels, right. not the business environment. Yeah, totally, totally. I love that. I love that. Okay, so uh, you also love to uh, give back and support, whether it's charity or volunteering or whatnot. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Well, um, I have been, um, I, I usually don't talk about it, but since you asked me saying that, I have been supporting uh, a charity that helps uh, uh, children who are deprived from education. Um, mm -hmm because of financial situation. They usually um, have a parent, uh, a single parent, or they, they have lost their parents. They live with a family member, like a, a grandmother, a grandfather, right. or, you know, um, with, with a family member. So I support that charity. And recently I met um, a wonderful lady in, in your networking event, in your meetup, uh, that she is helping women who are um, who who are um, the victims of uh, um, trafficking, violence. Yeah, violence, domestic domestic violence. So I talked to her, and I'm and I'm really excited to join her team uh, uh -huh. to help for uh, marketing marketing her uh, charity in order to be able to raise funds. Not oh, good for you. Thank you for doing <laughs> that. That's beautiful. And uh, you're also a sponsor at the Toronto Women's Expo. And we're so excited to have you there waiting for that live event to come. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm so excited. And, and I'm, uh, I'm optimistic that the COVID-19 situation will pass very soon and uh, we would be able to uh, get together again and uh, be at your event with so many business owners and you know, learn from each other. Absolutely. Thank you. So do you have any uh, tips or suggestions for people out there? It can be personal, it can be professional, whatever you want. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, personally, I, I believe that um, our life is all about um, what we think and how we 
how we see the world, right? right. So um, I personally suggest that at any situation, in, instead of focusing on what you cannot control, focus on what you can control. In another words, it's like being being optimistic all the time, seeing the um, glass half full. Um, as an example, we are at the situation uh, right now in quarantine. This is something that we cannot control, mm -hmm. but when it comes to our business, we can always pivot, right? There are ways to pivot. There are ways to serve our audience at this time either by selling some of our products, not for the sake of selling, but for the sake of being, uh, being there, being present. Uh, and if we cannot sell, we can always be there, call people, be on social media, share experience. If we can, train people with what we are good at in order to give back to the community. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. And how can people connect with you? How can they find you? Yes. My website is www.smartshop.ca, not .com, .ca. And uh, I'll be happy to hear about you, hear from you, and be able to help. Also, um, our business number is 647 994 0481 and I'll be happy if I can add value. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Mara. And I can't, can't wait to be working with you. <laughs> it was a pleasure being here. Thank you, Randy. Thank you for listening to this interview hosted by Randy Goodman. We hope you will take action and connect with the incredible business people and leaders in our community. And remember, Randy is always here to answer any questions you have regarding your real estate needs. Be sure to register on the website and stay up to date on what's happening in your area at parkbench.com slash millpond.